borrowing to subtract. Example, when the carpenter began repairing the house, he had a supply of 35 hinges. He used eight hinges to put up all the doors. How many hinges does he have left? The number 35 is made up of three tens and five ones, as you can see in this diagram. We have three groups of 10 and one group of five. Three tens, one five gives me 35. If we start in our ones column to subtract, we can subtract five minus eight. That is why we need to regroup or borrow from this tens. We had three tens, we're now going to take one away, borrow it, put it down here with the ones, making it two tens by taking one of the tens and bringing it into the ones. We have now two tens and 15 ones, which is the same 35 as we had before. We've just regrouped the number in a different form. We're going to show that by borrowing one ten, we're going to put a slash through our three, we're going to make that three a two because we've borrowed one ten. And we're going to bring that one ten to the ones column and we write it to the upper left of the five showing that we have fifteen ones. We can now subtract our ones column. Fifteen minus eight is seven. Bring down the two. That gives us twenty-seven as our difference. Once we get our difference, we're going to check our answer by adding the 8 and the 27. 8 plus 7 is 15. We put down the 5, carry the 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. We have checked our answer. We started with 35. We're now ending with 35. An important note to remember it may seem like an unnecessary step to place a diagonal slash through the number from which you are borrowing. However, it is important. It reminds you to ignore the old number and subtract from the new number you have written above it. This practice will help you do more careful work.